It's Greg. Hello, everybody. <laughs> that, that's how you're coming in now. Yeah, man. Uh, glide us in. <laughs> glide. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I have a, I'm weird today. I'm a little weird today. It's cool. You um, just woke up. I know, and I couldn't sleep. I had this nightmare. Really? No, I got to interrupt you. Yeah. Because, and we'll let me tell you why, and then what? you're going to get right into it. Yeah. Because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts this week, and I said, we've been leaving shit on the table. We're not, you got to come right up front, tell them what they're listening to. Because you get new listeners every time. Oh, yeah? You got to come right in. So this is episode 131 of the Rad Dude Cast. I'm Welcome. here with uh, Greg Stone <laughs> and Anthony DeVito. Uh, you got to follow us on Twitter, <laughs> at the Rad Dude Cast on Twitter. Uh, you can, uh, most importantly, subscribe, rate, and review when you review and you rate on iTunes, it helps our algorithm. You gotta do that. Please, if rate, you haven't already review, done it, right yeah, share now, it with your friends. Alright, give me your dreams. See, I've been listening to these podcasts. They're doing it right up top. Rate okay? and review! We're leaving shit on the now! <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You must rate and review the podcast! Get in on the Rad Dude Cast After Dark first page page. Facebook parts. Facebook page. Facebook page. Facebook page. Get in. Scott, Scott, Get in. Scott. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Greg Stone underscore, and don't follow these other two. <laughs> wow. Undo your follows if wow. you follow that. <laughs> this is not us versus every other podcast. It's me versus them. Me. Uh, Tell me about your dream. Well, right. first, start. Should we talk about my religious f aspirations? Well, yes. For, yes. I'd like to <laughs> allow you to talk for 20 minutes uninterrupted. Uh, what I need you to do first, yeah. okay? Is this is the order of business I'd like you to take care of? All right. Set the scene for them. Tell them, tell tell them where we are, what time of day, all that, and then talk about your dream, and then segue into your religious aspirations. I don't like when I see him start poking at chords. <laughs> when he's on the dials, I'm okay with it. Greg's the sound man. When you're on the dials, I'm okay with it. I'm saying that seems normal. When you yeah. start pushing chords in harder, I'm saying we're fucked. I like to check them just every now and again, just to make sure they're not going to explode or anything. Absolutely. What? <laughs> Who are you? I talk to the soundboard. Are you feeling okay today, <laughs> my friend? Yes. I feel How's okay, Greg. I feel kind of good. Okay. My name's Peavy. I gotta be honest, Brendan, and I don't want to be this guy. <laughs> Do never, never pretend to be the soundboard. I have a symbiotic bond with this, yeah, and it does me not on speak. The fucking soundboard, man. Look, man, this podcast is all about yes and <laughs> no but. <laughs> don't that soundboard's want, not man. Peavy, man. It's not you. You want more gain? You want more gain or what you're looking for? PV? Sound wise. PV. Don't listen to him. PV. That's a different relationship. You could be PV. You could be another PV. You could be PV. PV's another guy and another time. PV can't be the soundboard. You oh, could be. I wish I was a guy, man. I'm a soundboard. goddamn soundboard. Uh -uh. You could be another soundboard Yo, in a different store. Jiggle you that can't wire be that one, PV. Jiggle that wire around in my hole, we have Greg. A dream. Give me a if I'm all right, not mistaken, <laughs> yeah, a dream was had last yes. night. Allow me to finish, Brendan, before you <laughs> hey, throw man, my comedy through the window. <laughs> I got nothing to do with it. <laughs> you, you're talking to the soundboard. The soundboard's talking yes. back to you. Why are you last bringing night, me into it? Last night, a man it? fell asleep. A man and a fell man asleep. had a dream. <laughs> a man, that what man was that dream? Did dream. Gregory. Please tell us about it's, it. Okay, but for real, we got to get serious, Donkey. I want to have this a real discussion about serious the dream. Donkey. I don't even think it that's the one. I think it's serious Donnie and something Donkey. Serious Donkey. No, it's oh, Serious Donnie. No. Impregnable, impregnable Donnie. Donnie. Impregnable Donnie. Serious, serious donkey. donkey. And Impregnable Donnie means what? That's the one where it's definitely true? Impregnable Donnie is definitely true. Serious Donkey. Eh. I don't think that's true. For The uh, listeners will tell us. For the listeners who are new to the podcast, we developed a code <laughs> system so you know when we really yeah. mean things that are true. Impregnable Donnie but is seriously true. But now we forgot true. it. I think impregna Impregnable Donnie means this is uh, honestly real. Yeah, this is honestly real. I want to realize it wouldn't make it's... right. It wouldn't make sense for us to do serious donkey because that's too on the nose. Yeah, and that's not something we do. <laughs> no, no. Ser or I'm wrong and that is something we do. I just have no idea. <laughs> it's hard to anyway, say what we do. A boy had a dream last night. Let's do this. Hear that is dream. A, a boy more like a man. I huh? woke up by the way furious at everyone <laughs> because I was terrified and I had been just nightmaring all night, waking Love up. It. Going back to sleep, and oh, the snake God. kept coming back. Oh, no. Welcome to my world. Waking up angry. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just so, like, of course, no one wants to hear dream stories, but you have to. You have to. I'm in the thick of it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I had a snake around my neck. Mm. And you, remember the Jungle Book? The yes. The big fucking thing? Uh huh. That was the snake. And oh, he's, God. And he kept talking to me. It's a very convincing snake. Yeah. Yeah. Around my neck. And I kept being like, get off me. Get off me. And he kept going. But I'm your friend. <laughs> That's what I got. I'm your friend, and I care about you. 
and he just kept getting tighter and I kept like choking more and I was like you like and I was trying to plead with it I was like well, we're friends and I'm making a joke and I kept trying to make, make jokes and he would laugh and go that's so funny I love you and then it would get tighter like everything kept being like more and more uh-huh. pretending my friend it would get tighter and tighter and then I looked down and this took the course of a whole night and I had a uh, this it was like a broken piece of glass in my hand and I just started ramming it into the snake Oof, and boy. stabbing it right and it's oh, bleeding and it's terrifying and then the snake starts going why are you doing this we were friends and it fucking starts to unravel and i look down and i was hanging from the top of new york city and the snake was holding me alive wow and i killed it and then i started falling to the ground and i woke up and there was that was like this thing that i thought was killing me and was my end i was like it's a friend who's betraying me yeah but i miss it wasn't a friend it was someone who was a friend who was trying to keep me alive right yeah but here's the thing man uh classic dream trickery yeah okay that your dreams try and get you to be, <laughs> they do they try and get you to be guilted yeah. because I, in well, that real situation guy. you would have saw what's happening you would have saw he was hang you would have been hanging there and he's keeping you up and and instead and he would have said something yeah but no in a dream your mind's trying to fuck you your mm. mind was telling you he's killing you you weren't even not hanging off the thing yeah and then you kill and him, and then all of a sudden you're hanging off the thing, and he was saying, like, bullshit. Here's... Bullshit. <laughs> Here's right, what I want to get in on this. I agree with you. Here's what I want to get in on the topic that I want to discuss here on this. Now, forgive me if it's a little close to the Pete Holmes joke. Pete Holmes is a joke it's similar about dreams. But what I don't understand, I think it's a little, a little different, but it's a discussion I want to bring up. In my brain, in my brain, there is someone who wrote that. There is a part of my brain that yeah. knew the story coming ahead. Yeah. It knew that there was a twist. Right. There was casting. Right. He casted a snake. <laughs> right. There was, there was voices. Yeah. There was a voice that was chosen. Uh-huh. And all of that stayed in that part of my brain and never spoiled it to my other part of the brain right. that's viewing this. Right. There's part of me that's watching this movie mm-hmm. and is part of it and doesn't know... Yeah. We're going to get him with this twist. Actually, the snake yeah. was helping him the whole no, time. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. You no, put no. a twist on yourself. No, that's the thing. There was no twist. Here's the thing. There was a twist by the yeah. end of it. Your brain uh, didn't... That twist wasn't there. That's how. That's why dreams you, fuck you. That twist wasn't intention. Sure. What was intentioned was your fear of a friend killing you. you but know, it has to know that, something in the future no, or else sentences wouldn't make sense. The snake would go, I told what that... It wouldn't... My it boy knows I know. sleep with a knife. Yeah, it no, no, needs no. to it, know it how to know talk. In the future, it knows in the in the moment. You know, like it, until it's talking, then it's talking. You know sentences. You know words. You know how to talk. Like uh, for instance, I don't know what I'm going to say next. Elephant, ram, cougar. You know, like sure. I just let my voice it, talk. But it knows something. It sure, has to at least sure. know three seconds into the future, and it's not telling me. No, well, it's your subconscious brain. You're also asleep. You're not functioning in full. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, yeah. here I am. I, I don't know if I'm a dream expert. My theory would be, though, that that twist wasn't planned, that the initial part of the dream is this fear. Sure. This scared, a friend is betraying you, this, 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 this you're a trusting man, and yeah. you fear that. Well, there you know? is a guy, to so what you're saying, but there is someone at least sitting in the other room going, well, throw this at him. Throw a snake. Throw it just a window. But there is someone there that's at least two seconds in the future going, I got a great twist. It's the He's hanging from the window. I don't even think it's two seconds. I, th- I mean, you're right. They're sure. making it up. But yeah. I think it's instantaneous. I think it's like, I think it's like all of a sudden. Um, but how does my brain not know it's coming? It's my brain. Well, your brain. He's the right in the movie. Your brain is the one doing it. So like what it is, is like your subconscious is tapped into like, okay, what are my fears that my friends are betraying me? All of a sudden, and you're probably also afraid of snakes, as most people are, giant yeah. snakes. Yeah. All of a sudden, that thing's around. My biggest fear. That thing's around your neck, killing you, but also telling you it's your friend. And you're like, yeah. oh, my God, what are my friends doing? You know, your brain is tapping into that fear. Then you kill it. Yeah. You conquer that, and your brain is basically like, all of a sudden, you have this tiny hint of a fear in your subconscious. Like, oh, what if, 
what if, what if my decisions are wrong? What if mm-hmm. I what if I can't trust my own judgment? Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, your brain turns that into, yep, you can't, because your friend was trying to save you. Look at this. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's your fears and your 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 emotions coming out in pictorial sure. scene form. So you're right. It is crazy that your brain is just. This is what your brain gets up to when left to its own devices. Yeah. But I don't think it's, and I could be wrong. I don't think it's as much sort of planned out like i don't think there's like a like a v- dvd player well it doesn't like, have the full is... script but it's got at least two pages into the future uh it's got 30 seconds i think yeah also what always makes me laugh is the emotional part you have something anthony uh yeah i had a dream last night but i'll get to that after we're on a roll here oh yeah no i just i i just want to say is what's crazy is that yeah. like my brain decided to make that scary right like i had a dream one time i was in a hot tub and I look down, and the hot tub was burning away my legs and bones. Yeah. And I see my bone feet, and it just starts going, dum, 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 dum. And I'm singing the Ritz, and my feet are dancing, and I'm right. having a great time. All of a time. sudden, it switches to a good time. Yeah, I'm having a great time, and my I bones are being burned away. Always do that. The minute that I know I'm in a dream, and yeah. I can control it, that I find the nearest gal, and I go to town on her. <laughs> I always do that, every single time. That's I try to great. turn it into a sex dream right away. I don't care what she, I don't care what's going on with her, but we're having sex. Bag I, robbery, dream, you, me, Because I know. Now. It's I love, like, I know this is a dream. I can sleep with a stranger in my dream. I go for it. Yeah. I love uh, the, like, the dream factory in your brain. Everyone's just mad. Like, ah, for Christ, he's fucking the demon again. Yeah. He's, we're trying to That's scare right. him. He's just fucking him. Don't he put it there. Every, you can't get him. Yeah. You can't get him because they'll fuck him. I'll tell you this, though. They get me. More often than not, they get me. Yeah. More than I have nightmares every night. But um, not every night. But, you know. I actually, because I, I went to therapy for the first time last week, and nice. she's having me write down all my dreams. Uh, my dreams so far, surprisingly boring. Mm. I'll write you down. I wrote pretty much all of them down that i can remember this by the way if she's making you right turn she's not real she's one of these hippy dippy she is a hippy dip i like her very much (laughs) she's like your 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 chakra isn't good we need to put creams on your emotions what does that (laughs) mean see this i'm jealous you're already right to the work my guy you know i've been going for the past couple months yeah my guy we've spent uh about four months uh, just arguing about whether or not it's okay to go to therapy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went in there with a real game plan. I was like, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I think a decent amount about myself. I know what most of my stuff stems from. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I just want to fix it. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, well, let's get to fixing. So let's start here. Let's I see. also, uh, did I tell you this story about how she has a private office and a bathroom attached to A bathroom is in her office. And I walked in. Like a prison? Uh, kind of like a prison. <laughs> kinda, yeah, you got to uh, shit yeah, in front of like, No, you, there's a door. No, it's not. Uh, it's like a, think of like a bedroom with a master bedroom. Sure. Yeah, bathroom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. So I get in there, and I had to go to the bathroom so bad when I got there. I went to the bathroom first before I started my therapy session. Took a very large, smelly dump. Yes. And then sat down and had therapy with this woman. And I, I really wanted to go, do you want to start with my childhood or my diet? <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> but anyway. Trust the elephant or that giant yeah. elephant shit <laughs> I just took? Uh, I hope you're able to work in horrible dumps now. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that is what... I love... See, I couldn't do that. That you've got a real willingness to just shit wherever you need to. I would say, well, <laughs> yeah. I've got I've got to go home. Yeah. I've got to shit my pants and go home because I can't shit in in this lady's office. I'd shit my hand and show someone, but they won't let me. This guy, this guy walks through puddles. You know that about him, right? <laughs> no. If he was a Native American, he'd be walks through puddles. <laughs> he sees a puddle. Now, here's the thing. This is most people. Would puddles say, are fun. He's got <laughs> he's waterproof for the whole time. I'm thinking he's got these nice waterproof boots, and still you kind of try to avoid. He just trudges <laughs> through full puddles like that are like this, like six inches deep. Then I look down at him. For, I mean, seven years later, he's got these boots forever. I look down. His feet are soaked. <laughs> Not even waterproof boots. He just I goes. don't know, man. I stand he, by him. He accepts it. doing the job. There's something noble about that, though. He yeah. He just goes man. through it. He takes noble? it. <laughs> um, so anyway, so you want to hear my dreams? More than anything. Okay, cool. Uh, Jordan Temple got mad at me in the coffee shop for being racist. Okay, that's good. Okay, I real. asked him if he saw Get Out, and he said, why would you ask me that? And I think, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was on an L.A. show mm. wearing a dirty shirt. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's real. All of these dreams are things that very much <laughs> these things just might have just happened to me. <laughs> I'm you not definitely joking. did an L.A. show with a dirty shirt. Greg and I are doing a pack show. Uh huh. We didn't prepare. <laughs> Pretty on the nose. Done that. <laughs> I got Julia a Sprite at a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Next dream. You're writing all these down? Writing them all down. Ran into a friend in Russia. 
Oh, that's fun. At that's least they're fun. in Russia. Yeah. I barely knew her. So this is going to be a lot of fun for my therapist to try to dissect because there's not a lot of meat on the bone. So, <laughs> but I like that because it gives her a lot of avenues to go go by. Do you remember anything about this friend in Russia? Anything? Uh, she was a, a white girl with brown hair. I didn't know her all that well. White but I was happy to hair. see her. Yeah, yeah. In love or just friendship? No. Didn't even, barely knew her. I just said, oh, that's weird that you're here. And she went, yeah, well, it's kind of weird that you're here. And I went, yeah, all right. That's pretty good. Uh, the, the, the Big Sleepover. That's what I text t- uh, titled this one. It was Julia, Ryan Beck, and Blair Saki in a bed together. That's pretty fun. She Not sexual, see. just like fresh my freshman year of college when Sandy had a big bed and we all slept in it. Oh, like we all knew about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was hippie living, man. <laughs> Sandy, by the way, which I could just want to throw a quick parenthesis, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm furious uh. with because she changed her name to S A N D Y D Y, and I thought it was just some Asian fella who likes the Rand Dude cast. <laughs> oh, oh, and, I was, and she's been commenting on it. I'm like, who the fuck is this person? Yeah. I go, oh, that's Sandy. She probably did it for work purposes. Probably. Um, last dream, thought I was going bald, then I wasn't. Great. Great He's ending. Not- that could be a movie. <laughs> but I had a dream last night, and I have to add this one. I was at a party with a bunch of white, uh, like. You know, uh, finance kind of guys. Yeah, rich sure. guys. Rich yeah. guys, dickheads. One of the guys brought a baby. He just now had a baby. Uh-huh. Then the baby died. And I got so mad at everybody at the party because they all thought it was funny. Yeah. It's not that's, the that's horrible. I can tell you how I, can I analyze that one real Absolutely. quick. Absolutely. I know why you had that dream. Uh-huh. One, because you have to get a new shirt for Colbert on Thursday. And uh-huh. I think you don't want to be a guy who wears a nice shirt. And a oh, that's down. probably true. You yeah, know? I actually think that might be true. Can yeah. we talk about that? Is that uh, you, you just dropped that like it's... Uh, uh, yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, yeah Anthony, I told everybody on Facebook. On Facebook, but not on the podcast. Anthony's taping uh, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, for... Uh, what's the show called? The Colbert Report. The, no, no, no. <laughs> is it Late Night? Wait, that is no, what it's, it is. It's, it's late the Tonight Show, show. With Jimmy Fallon and The Late Show with... Colbert. Yeah, it's the Letterman yeah. show, Colbert. but without Letterman. Yeah. yeah. So so Anthony's going to be on that Friday night. He's taping tomorrow. He'll be on it Friday. You got to tune in. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. This guy's the best. Uh, now, uh, are you excited? Yeah, I am pretty excited. I was nervous yesterday because I just found out yesterday it was Thursday. So, uh, you know, two days notice. I had to figure out guest lists. Yeah. Uh, like the hmm. set I've only done once really or twice. I didn't get any kind of call or offer. Well, I would think you would just want to come. Well, I do. I'm actually leaving to Cleveland. I do, but the whole all yesterday, I was like, "Well, he didn't even uh, invite me." This is really why would you think you wouldn't be invited? You're a natural invite. I, uh, what's that mean? Don't shouldn't you get invited to a place? You didn't invite us. Yes, yeah. I did. We just went. Yeah, no, we went. Bullshit! Bullshit! Brendan, yeah, there is telling. such a thing yep. as called a natural invite. <laughs> You, my friend, are a natural invite. Oh, that's yeah. great. Well, I can't go. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to be in Cleveland. That's okay. Oh, uh, nice. And uh, I, but, Cleveland rocks. Well, let me tell you, I almost I considered rescheduling so I could go, but mm. then all last night I said, well, he doesn't want me there. So uh, let's. I got to make Anthony's uh, t- late night television debut about myself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't have enough of those in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, my mom. No, honestly, I, I knew I couldn't go. I was going to ask you, and I was like, fuck, I got to go to Cleveland. Uh, but, man, you don't need me there. You're going to be phenomenal. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to uh, be fun. Now, Greg's taking me shopping today. Yes. You, this is what you do. A boy in the candy store. Because, uh, <laughs> when, I was, when I did uh, Seth Meyers, Greg was my... Uh, rock because we had that plan where if something goes terribly wrong, yeah, he makes a scene in the audience. <laughs> yeah, so just and I knew he would do it. Yeah, it really did lessen my nerve. I said, yeah. you know what? If yeah, I like blank or faint or something, Greg's gonna fucking make a thing. Yeah, and it'll be great. And, yeah, uh, so it's great. You gotta have him. You gotta sign him up for that. Oh, that's why I got him backstage so yeah. we can run out. I'm gonna run out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just run out. New everybody on the ground. <laughs> everybody, it's a Take this show to Beirut. <laughs> I'll take the whole no show travel ban. No <laughs> travel ban. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Yeah. I want to get this tea as a sponsorship. I don't like really? tea. This tea is the best tea I've ever had in my life. I don't care for tea. That's what I you hate got from tea. FoodCon yesterday. I like this tea. No. You got to tell people about FoodCon yesterday. I'll, oh, I got to tell you. This is great. You're going to love. But we yeah, have I heard all about this. This is crazy. What did you hear about it? I was with Anthony. You were with Anthony? Yeah, yeah. we did Christie's podcast what were you yesterday. What guys doing? We did Christie Chiello's podcast. Chiello. Don't promote it. 
We don't need another competition podcast. It was great. They were on nothing. It was fun. They were on lunch together. <laughs> they were not at something else. Uh, how was this food? Tell, uh, set the stage. Tell the mm -hmm. audience about the food. So guy. Tita and I every year go to this food convention, which is like, uh, it's a Jacob Javits Center. It's like a boat show, but like for food. Yeah. And so like they give you a bunch of, we, you know, they're like, hey, buy this giant pizza oven. You know, that's where you <laughs> buy giant pizza ovens for your restaurant. Yeah. And but they also have lots and tons of little food drinks, food and drinks that you can sample and stuff like that. And so last year I went and I remember one guy, I was like, Hey man, can I have the, there's a slice of pizza, and I went to grab it, and he was like, mm. he pulled it, and he gave it to someone who was like a, the president of like some company, and I said, oh, this because I'm a schmuck. Yeah. yeah. So I said, <laughs> next year, I'm filling out the form differently. So I wrote that I'm a buyer, that so I'm the guy who buys the things <laughs> in the restaurant. Made up my own restaurant. Uh, also, it just said the Rad Dude Cast <laughs> on there. I don't know why. Yeah. So yeah. There was a few things that people would say. They would go, what do you? Oh, you buy for? And I was like, my podcast, the Rad Dude Cast, and they were like. You buy food. Wait, you. What is? The, I don't understand. And they were like, "It's a podcast, okay." And I'm the buyer. <laughs> <laughs> and they would go, "So like, uh, so like you. That's what you use for advertising." I was like, "No, I'm the buyer. We have a pizza oven. <laughs> Ask no more questions." <laughs> that was one of my excuses. My favorite though is because one of the things I love is when you're talking to normal businessmen who are trying to be on their best behavior. Just being as vulgar as possible <laughs> immediately. So one guy, my favorite answer is he goes, the guy goes, uh, he was like, oh, what's the name of your restaurant? And I just go, cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, what? And I was like, cocksuckers. <laughs> my name of my bar is called cocksuckers. <laughs> and they don't know what to do because they see the badge. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, that can't be right. But this guy, no one would come to this show <laughs> Yeah, to then just... To, and then to be an asshole. Yeah, you yeah. realize how much stuff is going on with you at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. You're a buyer for a podcast <laughs> who owns a bar called Cocksuckers. <laughs> there is so much happening there yeah, yeah. that it's like, all right. And the way you looked, because you looked yesterday yes. like a V-neck, you were drunk already. <laughs> so you definitely, you look like, again, we were talking about this yesterday, as a guy who either has zero money or so much money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 a.m. Homeless or I'm a hedge drunk. fund manager. Yeah. Yep. 10 a.m. <laughs> So you got drunk. drunk before you went there. No, we get there and we go. There's like a little pub. And you try all these different drinks, and they, since I'm a buyer, they you want me to buy their they alcohol. Want, yeah. So yeah. they just give I mean, you extra. Cocksuckers. Got the is owners buying, from baby. cocksuckers here. Yeah. So I'm hammered. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to people because no one thinks that people are going to sneak into this to get mm -hmm. extra. Like my whole game is just to get a few extra pieces of cheese. Now, does it cost money to get in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> you just it. go in there and you're eating. The mouse. Did, did you well, eat well? How much did you get to eat? I think for some people it might cost, but Tita's in the Food Network situation, so she gets these free passes. So we go in and we do a whole ruse, and I'm talking. They, you get little like, – everyone. it's like going to Costco, but every lane's got lots of different snacks and things like that. A guy gave me a full bottle of whiskey. I got a full bottle of this – Apple rum because they all want me to put it in the restaurant yeah. or on the rad dude cast, which doesn't make any sense. Like that really doesn't. The idea of buying for a podcast is not a real. Thing. I well, like how you. The, well, I'll let you go. Ahead. Yeah, but no, no, you go first. That these people gave you the free things, and you do have a podcast called the Rad Dude Cast, and you could easily just mention the brand of whiskey, but you're like, no, nah, not fuck that guy. The ruse, <laughs> the ruse is the ruse. I won't even give him what little. What little benefit I do have as the buyer <laughs> of the Rat Dude cast. That's funny. Yeah, I could mention it. It's some kind of apple drink. I wouldn't mention Don't it. Don't we yeah, have it in the a, kitchen? We do. Get I'll yourself an apple it. drink if you're interested. <laughs> yeah, um, but they didn't understand that because the people who were giving me the free stuff was for my bar. Right. Which, right. Which, was not a real, which is not a real bar. But I also understand buying for a podcast because a you lot do? of people do listen to this stuff. Yes. And then you would be like, hey... Yeah, we're working. We got the pizza oven going. Obviously, the pizza oven. We got the great pizza oven by the Gershwin Pizza Oven. It's real good. Whatever. I think you're thinking of sponsorship. Yeah, and yeah. that would constantly come up. So they would say, "Are you looking for sponsors?" Right. I would say, "No, <laughs> we are not looking for sponsors. <laughs> yeah. I'm a buyer for the podcast. If you want to be our sponsor, you need to talk to Brendan." <laughs> <laughs> I get it though, because it's. A new enough business model was, yeah. that people just go, they don't want to seem like an idiot. <laughs> so they would just go, yeah, of course, you, you buy for a podcast. I, I kind of yeah. get that, you know? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. There's no, yeah, not an, entirely enough has known about it yet <laughs> yeah. in a lot of people's eyes. Our podcasts, restaurants, yeah, too? Our, 
<laughs> Are podcasts physical locations? <laughs> I don't know. No, you know, indeed, nobody really does. Yeah, but I mean, we had some fun. I was, I was, we were jamming things in my pub, stealing stuff. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, no one expects you to go to these things and and be a you know some kind of uh, get of a ruse. Of course, have a fake name. Have a, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, have a fake name and have a story that doesn't really add up. Yeah. But it adds up enough that yeah, they're yeah. not going to question it. Yeah. Yeah. Tita would also set it. Oh, this is so fun. Tita would set it up for me because <laughs> hers just said nutrition. So, so Tita's in on this. Yeah. That's every great, time man. they would be like, oh, what are you? And she would go, um, every time they would say to me, I'd say, don't talk to me. You got to talk to Tita. She's the one who makes the decisions. <laughs> and then she would be like, well, he's the boss, but nutritionally, I can, ex-, like, she would go, oh, this you'd play. Oh, I love that Tita was on board. Yeah. I was going to ask, that. is Tita concerned about this lie? Whole or? new Tita. There's a whole new Tita in life right now. Wow. She's got a new job. Yeah. She's enjoying her life. She's into bits. She's into all these things. Tita's the best. You got a great thing going. You should be, you should be happy for it. Yeah. You should uh, get married in the next week. Yeah. Get married. Tita's also cool with me getting naked pics. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think. I never I asked think Julia's cool with that, too. No one sends us anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can't just go I around. Just... Uh, <laughs> Did I? I don't know. This is too. Uh, I can't talk about this on here. Oh, that's okay. I was gonna, well, you didn't I was say gonna, anything yet. I know. <laughs> I was saying stuff in my head because we were talking about whole new Tita, and I was like, well, I was going to divulge tidbits about my own relationship, but that I can't say stuff like that. Yeah, because there are per- things, and, and this isn't me being where there's like things that it's like, oh, no, I can't talk about that. That's like too risque. Yeah. Ooh. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Let me fix how we, what you're just doing right there. Yeah. What you do is you go, I can talk about it, and then you make something up. Oh, because now they yeah. think, they're like, well, what the fuck? I want to know what he's talking about. Oh, I can I can talk about it. You're right. Yeah. Now so, that I think about it, I can talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Julia's not buying large sweatshirts anymore. She's buying mediums, and it's nice. changed our relationship. Cool. Yeah, good. Yeah. A tighter fit. Yeah, because I wear mediums, or so now it's fit. bringing us closer together. Ah, sharing the same Uh-huh, clothes. so we're sharing a bond. That's I great. gained weight. Uh, <laughs> It's a bummer, but let me take you into the headlines for the week. Uh, oh, yeah, as well as... Hey, we're doing headlines. <laughs> we always do headlines. Oh, we do? I don't notice. Uh, Jackson Hole ski instructor impales face with branch. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, Jesus. Um, I've never been to Jackson Hole. The bar? Uh, the restaurant? No, the restaurant. But isn't Jackson Hole, that's like a famous concert destination? No, I, well, isn't maybe, it a famous hippie retreat? No, it's a f- ski resort in. in oh, really? Wyoming, Wyoming, right? I believe. Old and busted, whiskey barrel aged beer. New hotness, whiskey barrel aged coffee. Whoa, cool. Oh yeah, I have seen that happening. I like this the new segment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is this we, is this is how we do our. We should do a talking head show. Yeah, where they go. I love the eighties. <laughs> we go he man, and we go. Oh yeah, all right. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember that. Oh, yeah. Woman wants to find kids that stole her wind chimes, left a five dollar bill and an apology note, and explained the wind chimes reminded them of their dead mom. Oh, whoa. We should hope they find each other. Why are you trying to track uh, them down? Leave yeah. them alone. They did a good thing with your wind chimes. What are you trying to get them back? I don't know. We don't read the articles here. Yeah. Also, too, like mom. that that headline is enough. That tells you enough information. You don't need to read an article anymore. Like that, I got what I needed. Yeah, I'm good. I don't know what more information I can get out of that. Yeah, they're going to add so many more words. Yeah. It was a dawn <laughs> of the morning, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and there was the sun. And then there was a car driving down the street. I always think I that's need that. funny. If like a newspaper for a day or a magazine goes, you know who writes all the articles? Eh, some crazy poet. And yeah. then they have a poet just deliver all oh, that information. That's fun. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Like So you're getting pretty much pedestrian information, but real high art stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Dark Moon! <laughs> Revolves <laughs> around the sun in its utmost pageantry. <laughs> to notice a little boy's bike was stolen again on West Third Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah I exactly. love that. Uh, and now we go to Rosanna Scotto with Rosanna. what God has intended for us: the weather. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Rosanna Scotto. She is, doesn't do the weather, but I know she's a news person. Yeah, she's in the news. Yeah, I love her. Hawk, for I have woke in the darkest of dawn to arise. And here's Mark with a cat beauty show. 
you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this. Timbo me this. Timbo me that. <laughs> riddle me this. Riddle me though. Hawks win 88 to 80 over the Cavaliers. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. Y'all is what you know. Channing Tatum at the mall. Channing Tatum wins the mall. Giving kids free prizes. Being there, no surprises. Fuck the police. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's, that's and you're like, man, one. TMZ was interesting today. If yeah. ever I've gazed into the deepness of the depths of your eyes and <laughs> seen within them myself and my soul a light with a fire, a fire that burned so bright, it was almost as if it were the warehouse fire that just occurred <laughs> down by the docks. It's horrible. Ten dead. <laughs> <laughs> blue is blue and blue is true, but who are you? Partly cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. All right. Give him one more. Give him one more. No, it's fair. It's fair. Give him one more. Give him one more. Give him one more. All right. All right. Lady. <laughs> the lady of the... The lady <laughs> of the field once knew... I was, just, I was gonna do a new iPhone one. I can't do it. And You're that's right. Been that's been right. a poet's news. <laughs> Tune in every fortnight uh, when when the when the breast has risen to the robin's <laughs> breadth of the moon quarter, and tune in afterwards for Wheel of Fortune. Uh, now I feel like that's a pretty good sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. have to just mention one thing. Yeah, copyright, yeah. copyright. Yeah. I wonder how many of those we've had on the podcast where we could be like, oh, we have like a whole hour and a half show here. I'd say do you know thousand. what I mean? Uh, yeah. I'd say a thousand. <laughs> or one. Yeah. I don't know. Now, how about this? Mitchell's how about an this? asshole. And, 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 uh, an asshole. And, and Greg's got to say something after this. But what about this? I call to you. Mm -hmm. I call to you, our loyal listeners, for someone to do this, okay? To go through... Uh, from from the beginning episodes, I think on iTunes you can only go back fifty episodes, but on our Libsyn page, if you just Google the Rad Dude Cast, you can get every episode. I believe I could be wrong, but if you can't, just do it from from the last fifty. I call to you, our listeners, put together, take the audio, rip it, edit it, put together a best of chunk a best Ooh, yeah. of hour for us and post it well we would love to hear that where it's just the best skits the best funny moments oh yeah, yeah. i i challenge you yeah. as viewers to do this free work for us uh, <laughs> uh that would be great right yeah yeah also i have three more t-shirts left <laughs> you wait till you see what they're getting <laughs> really yeah I didn't know you were still. Uh, I thought all the T-shirt stuff was done. I left urges for it to be last because I wanted his to be, you know, the best. Yeah. And when you, oh, urge is going to be so happy. <laughs> um, I just can't wait to get my check. Uh, oh yeah. My T-shirt check. You gonna check? It seems like. Uh, <laughs> Seemed like uh, you told us specifically I mean, you weren't trying we to run trouble. a racket on us. <laughs> I know, man. This guy's in the hole oh. for hundreds of dollars. His t-shirt thick. Can we just do... I want to do a real quick thing. This is only going to take less than a minute. All right? And it's going to... I need you guys to play a certain part. Yes. Okay? Not character stuff. But I need you, Brendan, to go. Mitchell Lizza. Mitchell Lizza. Mitchell Lizza. Mitchell Lizza. Big that's all we had to do. Nice. Someone on the Red Dude cast wanted us to call his friend Mitchell a big fat pussy. <laughs> so I figured we would do that for him. He can record that, have it for his birthday, play it on his birthday. Now, a right, new I gotta stand up for this. All right, a yeah. new WikiLeaks uh, information just dropped some CIA documents. Ooh. Uh, a lot of CIA documents related to uh, 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 cyber warfare. Their cyber warfare capability. Now, yeah. I still don't know how I feel about WikiLeaks, and I'll tell you why. Tell me why. I, I do think any information out there does benefit us but you know like i think i think bringing secrets into the light is beneficial but there's two things i think julian assange does shit po in a politically motivated mm -hmm. way he's the head editor of wiki wiki Leak. he's also by all accounts 
a rapist and sex offender. Mm. Uh, so I'm kind of torn about that. And there's also there are some there there are times, and they they don't seem to. There are times when there's stuff you'd like our government to keep secret. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I'm not one of these guys. that's like everything out in the open at all times. You sure, know, there sure. are he, there's matters of national security that obviously require secrecy. So I don't quite know how I feel about WikiLeaks. I, I, I but it, that doesn't stop me from from examining when they do one of these big interesting drops. It's it's really in, I, I like to go through it because it's like it's fascinating stuff. Now the most one of the most interesting things uh, to me that came out of this drop was one of the things they ha have had in development. It didn't say, they weren't sure if it's something that had been done mm -hmm. yet or not, but one of the things they had in long-term development was because because all cars, essentially, any new produced car has a has a small computer in it, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's how the engines run, they have right. chips and shit. Mm -hmm. So um, one of their fucking capabilities was to just take over any car in the world mm. that's freaky like could you imagine the the implications Whoa. for an assassination that would just never be known where yeah. you're just a guy's driving along and fucking drives off a cliff yeah that's it like any uh, that to me that was crazy and there's a guy there's a guy who died who was um i believe his name was mark hastings who wrote a lot of exposés about the iraq war and stuff like that and uh he died in a, this weird, suspicious car accident in California. Mm -hmm. And, like, since he died, people have been saying, like, no, they took over his car, and everyone's been like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now it's like, oh, oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? Now, I'm not saying in that case it happened, but that's just crazy. Now, the other, some of the other stuff that, that dropped was, like, they have the capability to backdoor any, basically any computer running Windows in the world they yeah. can get on. Wow. So, like, there's, like... It's kind of scary stuff. Like, so, so they could do this, right? Unfucking, undetectably. Yeah. They could do this, right? And I'm not saying this happened, and I'm not saying like to cast doubt or anything. But this is what they could do to you. Say you were a journalist or someone. You're, 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 you're a threat to yeah. the administration. You're, you're bringing to light stuff. That they don't want brought to light. You don't. You're not happy with our government. What they could do with that ability is they could go on your computer. They could fucking put just a trove of child pornography on your computer. Yeah, and it would look by all intents and purposes as if that was yours. Oh yeah. right. And then someone just goes, and then they tip someone off, and they come to your house and find that, and you go to jail forever, and you're just forever discredited. Yeah, like, yeah. It's scary, man. The iPhones, they had ways to, they had TV, smart TVs. They could, they figured out a way called a, um, a, a dummy off, mm -hmm. which is basically they could, um, they have a hack that makes smart TVs look like they're off. The on light doesn't go on. So they look like they're off, but the system's on, and they can turn on the microphone and mm -hmm. listen to you. So they can bug any room with sure. one of those. That was like, a big thing with the Xbox. Yeah. They yeah. were like, yeah, well, the Xbox <clears throat> is just always listening. Siri, if I go, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. How does she know that I just said that? She's listening. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? This is something four years ago or five years ago. What if she just said, that's right, Greg. I am listening. I know. She could be. I'd like to hang well, yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. No, that wasn't a thought. No, but nope. I love that you went for it. Uh, go ahead. I was talking to a guy four or five years ago, and he's like a computer hacker, and we were at a show, and I was like, dude, what is the craziest thing that you guys can do? And this is f four or five years right. ago. Right. And he, we were talking, and he was like, well, the big thing, the big danger r right now, and this is four or five years ago, he was like, pacemakers. He's like, you can hack into somebody's pacemaker. Oh, my God. And just shut their heart off. And it was like, what? And I was like, well, why? He was like, here's the deal is that... There's no security on them because at the time he was like, no one just does that to fuck around. Like hackers will hack into the State Department yeah. because it's like, well, they could do that, dick right. around and no one dies. Right. He's like, and so the State Department goes, well, we're going to make this harder to get into because people are fucking with us. Right. No one's making this pacemaker thing harder because no one just goes, I'm just going to go in there and kill a guy because right. that's not a fun gag. Right. right. You know? So, like, the defense on them was super low. Right. But just the idea that you can do that. Right. You have a pacemaker and some guy can just hack in and just shock your heart and you have a heart attack and it goes, ah, oh, natural causes. Well, that's how they got Scalia. 
My man. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's your man. Uh, that's your boy, Antonin Scalia. Weird. That's weird your boy. That, weird that Scalia is your boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know anything about him except he's Italian. He's uh, Scalia was uh, very conservative. Not my, um, not to my taste. But he was a not good, my cup of cum. He. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my. C- I'll tell you, this guy's not my cup of shitty diarrhea. <laughs> I uh, love not my cup of cum. Uh, that's great. Uh, he uh, <laughs> he was. Like I didn't like him. He made a lot of controversial decisions that I didn't agree with from policy yeah. standpoint. But he was a good justice in that he was true to his like understanding of the Constitution and value. Like he wasn't sure. afraid. He and that's what you want in a Supreme Court justice. I respect. I do respect presidents' rights to to um, nominate someone to the Supreme Court who has different views than yeah. me. And he was true to his ideals. Like he would. He would oftentimes he would go against he would go for mm-hmm. he would he would decide for liberal causes mm-hmm. if that's how he interpreted the Constitution. So yeah. I guess what I would say is not not uh, a guy I tend to agree with, yeah. but a good Supreme Court justice. That's what I don't get, man, about these Supreme Court justices. They just have to be able to interpret the Constitution, mm-hmm. so they have to read. Who gives a shit? Big whoop. Yeah. Wait but a minute. What? The thing, Let's unpack like, that. Our constitution, that's what's hard about, we live in a system <laughs> you know of I mean? law. Yeah, but we live in a system of law that's um, totally based on judicial findings. Mm-hmm. In other words, like you, all, all of our like interpretations of our laws are based on precedent that's been set in previous legal cases, mm-hmm. right? So when stuff goes to the Supreme Court, it's like, here's a thing we can't decide on what's Right or wrong. What's right or wrong. We can't right. decide what the Constitution's meaning was on this. There's no relevant case law, or maybe right. this relevant case law is – we don't understand that. Right. So they – like the Constitution is fucking vague in a lot of places. You know, It's not very clear. Like, right. yeah. like, Why don't they do that with the Bible? One they have a Supreme <laughs> Court Bible group, and they do that with like eight people, and they're like, oh, actually, it doesn't mean that or whatever. Yeah. That's great. I think they do. Really? The Vatican. Oh, maybe the oh, high yeah, court. That's just for Catholics. I just said the Vatican. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Really you get attention. a bunch of old priests and all kinds of uh, denominations, mm-hmm. whatever, and you you get nine of those guys, ladies, whoever. Yeah, and they all figure out what God's word is. At what point? I feel like you're just gonna. This is gonna slowly shift into sort of a Jedi council. Yes, I'm yeah. very, very much that. like a Jedi council. <laughs> yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Why doesn't that exist? It should. It should. Well, because well, it should. because uh, because <laughs> it, because one because why would the Catholic Church have any interest? Why would each church have any interest in the other church's fucking views on it? I don't know. You know, but what I they'll mean? need to. That's for them to work out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you. That, that's what I'm saying. It would be good, but they don't want. Why would they? Are, they have their own interpretation of it. Why do they need yeah. to bring? Let's bring in the Lutherans. Fuck the Lutherans. Oh uh, yeah, every should have their own group. They do. There should be a Supreme Court for every religion. They have that already? More or less. They have a okay. ruling, like if you're dealing with, uh, say, uh, some sort of, uh, you know, there's, there, there are, there are. Because new stuff is coming out and that stuff wasn't in the Bible. So what do you do now? Mm-hmm. Transgender stuff. That wasn't in the Bible. Uh, so you got to, but you got to have an opinion on that if you're well, a religion. Mostly they're just going to be against it, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. What's his name? Seems pretty forward thinking. Who? Scalia? No. Who's that? The young pope. Uh, the That's a pope. television program. <laughs> no, no, the other, the real pope, but he, pope, uh, the pope, Francis Benedict, Benedict, or is he out? Benedict might be out. That guy, There's it was an E four gay marriage, transgender stuff. Yeah. He's against the travel ban. This is what I never understand. Yeah. yeah, right. Why do they feel the need to get involved on anything? If if they believe in all this stuff, then it's like, no, nah, relax. Hell and heaven are there, so you just stay out of it. Yeah, it'll be handled at the end. <laughs> why do you fucking care? You know, like why is yeah. there if that if they're believing all this yeah. stuff? Yeah, just leave it all alone. Yeah, that's true. Nothing you do is has any impact on heaven or hell. Well, they don't want people going to hell. Yeah, well, but that's true. They got to keep those numbers down. Dude, yeah, what is no. that about? They want to get more people in heaven, man. They got they have a horse in that that's race. Crap. Well, I got a big bit on this that I've just wrote in the shower yesterday. Love to hear it. You want me to run it by you guys? It's very yeah. similar to what we're talking about. It's about abortion. And because abortion, if you don't know, is my favorite thing to talk about. This whole thing is I understand an atheist being pro-life, you know, because it's like you get one shot. You know, it, those are things that can improve the world. 
the, the, you get one Chinese, ch- you know, like that kind of means something. But as a Catholic, because I grew up Catholic, mm-hmm. I don't understand being pro uh, anti abortion because, like, the whole idea is to go to heaven, right? And that baby's not going to hell if it's aborted. Yeah. So, no, well, not you, baptized. You, but that's the thing. It's not really. I've talked to a many religious pe- folks about this, and they say, yeah, the baptism thing is, is fun or whatever, but the truth is, God, we know, is not throwing babies into hell for not pre... There is a uh, thing about bo- babies not being born yet. I think it's like a two... You know, like they're born, you gotta baptize them. Yeah. But, like, there is a thing. There's, like, a caveat that says, now they, they're fine. Like, there's yeah. a there's a special person who protects them. So it's like, that's just like a... You know, if I'm aborting, you're getting... It's the expressway, right to heaven. Yeah. It's a, it's a big thing. You go mm-hmm. right to heaven. Because I think <clears throat> Catholics are selfish. Because they go, if I gotta deal with this fucking world, so does this fucking baby. <laughs> well, and that, but that's and it also goes back to like that's funny. they're meddling in people's business. They don't want. It's like okay, the baby goes to heaven, but what about you? You killed it. Now you go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. Well, fuck off. Maybe I want to go to hell. Fucking who asked you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's why I want to go. Yeah, that's fine. I want to check it all out. Yeah, that's true. Maybe people won't go to hell. That is, yeah. Maybe. I don't think hell. That's the thing. The whole thing is. Can I say this? And this is what I'm talking about before we start yeah, the podcast yeah, yeah. on my religious aspirations. I get very mad at these people who are like, I'm not going to be friends with my friend because he likes Trump. Like, that makes me furious. It's mm-hmm. like, oh my God. Because as an atheist, I've been dealing with bullshit my whole life. All these Catholics and Christians and religious people, and they, they change all the world. They do all this stuff, and I love them. I love them just the same. Right. I don't agree with a thing they believe in. Everything, in my mind, of what religion is, ruins everything. Oh, well, Trump is going to... Trump. Trump is going to start wars. Religion's been doing that longer. Uh, Trump is going to take away our rights. Trump's been doing that. Tr- I mean, religion's been doing it. Tr- religion has d- been doing Trump before Trump was around. Yeah, if you're yeah. a hater of Trump. Here's the thing to me. Here's the thing to me why I have a, a problem with a Trump supporter. And I, I, I don't mean, I don't hate them. And I'm, I have yeah. friends, some friends. And I, it's, not a, it's not an end of friendship thing for me. It's more of a... For me, it's more of a taste issue. It's like, okay, religion, uh, yeah, man, whatever. I disagree with you about a lot of stuff, but like, I-, I can see the appeal with Trump. All his policies aside, it it's infuri. It's like you're. It's like you, if you like Trump, it's like you're sitting here telling me like, uh, uh, you know what's a, you know what's a, uh, the, the best movie I've ever seen, uh. Uh, made for TV movie for the love of Nancy. Like you're crazy. Like he's so. What's for the love of Nancy? Terrible movie. By really? The it seems like something I'd yeah. like. It's pretty good actually. I couldn't think of a fucking. I couldn't think. <laughs> oh, of Oh right. An yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, that's fair. It's pretty good, but so it's like a taste issue for me. Where it's like if you can watch him and not see him for the con man, the little. How are you not explaining religion right now? What? How are you not? You're no, exactly I explaining that. I understand that, but at least with religion, I do believe that many religious people, many religious institutions, and people. I think when it gets to the top levels, it's very corrupt and problematic. I think, I think with religion, to me at least, yeah, it comes in a lot of instances, in a lot of ways, it comes from a good place. Like, and even, I think that's what Trump supporters are also coming from. No, but but that's what. But but you're not. But we're not talking about Trump supporters. We're talking about Trump. Like, well, I'm talking about Trump supporters. I'm talking about religious supporters. Yeah, but religious supporters support a religion that the religion does some good in some way. And I do believe that people think that where Trump is coming from is coming from a place of these are people who are tired and broken. Mm, yeah, no, and they I understand want that they fixed. think that. But I, it make, but to me, I judge them because you can't, they can't see around that con. Whereas religion, they can't, the con also involves some good. Like the, like, look. Uh, f- the Catholic Church feeds a lot of fucking starving people. They just do, you know. Yeah, and it's yeah. like that doesn't make them. That doesn't forgive the fact that they covered up child abuse and they f- started wars Not and even... they they forgave the Nazis. Like none of that fucking makes up for it. But there is good with the bad. They give a lot of people hope. Like I understand Trump to me is so clearly a man who has no modesty no humbleness no ability to apologize uh-huh. to laugh at himself like it's so clearly a one a single faceted bad man 
that I I'm more willing to judge a Trump supporter than I am someone who is a religious believer. And here's the thing. I'm not judging religious believers. I'm just able to take that out of that. I'm able to say that religion is the motorcycle. The person is what I will judge. The guy driving it. I don't like a motorcycle. You get off it. I love you. Right. Whatever. You just drive a motorcycle. It's crazy every now and again. It could go fast. It kills people or the fucking whatever. But when it comes to like with Trump. Wow. Nobody said God bless you. And I never will. <laughs> Actually, I probably will. I always say it. I just say bless you. They don't know who I'm talking about. But <laughs> they wouldn't like it if they did. I, I, I would say my God. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> I, I do. I mean, Trump is it's a little bit different because he hasn't been around for 3,000 years. Right. Or longer or whatever. But when I'm not even talking about like <laughs> that we know of. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even about the church. I'm talking about the fact of like the whole idea of religion. Of like, there's a guy who's judging you and cares about this stuff. It's petty. Like, it's all such to me, cockamamie, cockamamie bullshit. Yeah. And I hate that. You know, I don't want to. You know, I'm trying to be proud. I'm, you know, this is what I think. I'm sorry. That's what I think. You know, it's that's what I think. Um, but then I do. I do know a lot of like my parents are Republican. They believe in their. My parents aren't racist. They just do think that Hillary was the worst thing and they're getting all the bullshit from Fox News, a.k.a. the Catholic Church, and it's making them think these other things are happening that aren't necessarily happening. Now, how do we know? We're in a bubble just like they are. We're in the liberal bubble. I, but I'm not. You know what I mean? You I, are. We no, are. I'm not. I, I make a, a, a concerted effort to, you know, I check Fox News. I check that website. I, I, I look. I don't get any. I make a point not to get any of my news or my You do a good job of Facebook. trying to see outside of the bubble, but there is no way you can say we are not in a bubble. Every one of our friends will clap at you for saying the things that we both agree on. My friends, too. We oh, sure. My my day-to-day -day experience is is a, a liberal enclave. Yeah. Yes. But my life, my views are not in a liberal bubble. I, 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 I am in the Midwest a lot. I know people. Like, I understand. I do understand that that a vote for Trump, Trump a support of Trump, doesn't make you a racist. It mm -hmm. does not. Like, mm -hmm. there's people. I think the vast majority of people that voted for Trump uh, feel not taken care of by our government mm -hmm. they feel uh they feel ignored they feel their voices are ignored mm -hmm. and i think that was all part of his con yeah, now yeah. my so my so i'm not te I, I i i far be it from me to say i don't i'm not one of these people to say you support trump you're a racist yeah, yeah. i think but i will say this and no offense to your parents if you support trump uh, you're miss i don't quite understand you're a poor judge of character if you can see this man and not see him for the dirty, fucking, uh, sleazy developer. He's a real estate developer. He's yeah, been yeah. conning people his whole life. Yeah. That's all he is. Like, And you can say what you want about Hillary. I truly believe Hillary, in her heart, uh, has done some dirty shit. I don't think you can get anywhere in politics now, the way our system is well, sure. doing some dirty shit. I do think she means well. George, uh, 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 George W. Bush, who I vehemently degree, uh, 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 disagree with on yeah. every issue. Mm. I think, I respect him because I think in his heart he believes he's doing the right thing. He b believed the whole time he was doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can respect George, George W. Bush. Trump, I find him to be so hateful, so this whole, they, you know, to just, he, he just spews hate yeah. and bullshit and he cons a fake news fake news like what are you talking about well no that's all i mean to be honest of course i'm not i hate i don't i th find him to be absolutely awful yeah but my whole discussion was just get back to the point was the ability right, to true. separate that from the person i don't agree with the people who've now moved on to this thing where they're saying that this division in the country and there's people saying i'm not going to like you if you support that because what i'm saying is i understand it when i'm from watching my parents living in the mountains yeah <clears throat> never turning off Fox News, yeah. there is, for everything he does, there is an excuse. There is a talk, There is a way to massage it into how it's good, how it's not bad. And then they'll even take little things and go, well, that was dumb. As if they go, oh, look, they're fair and balanced. They're saying that part was dumb. And it's right. like, no, no, that's just to make you think you're getting a little leeway with it. it and so I, when I just see this, it's extremely, like, it's for me to even come out and say anything Trump does, for me to say, I agree with that. I would be barraged by my friends, and there'd be millions of excuses on why that's wrong. And for the most part, I don't agree with anything he does. I, you know, for whatever. So it's, I, 
am accepting of the fact that we are in this circle. My parents are in another circle. We all have to kind of walk at least to the window of the circle and go, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense and talk. Like you're just saying you do. I do the same thing. I don't think either. I think we're free-minded. We're right. also good comedians. We don't right. go on stage and go, white straight males are stupid because right. they're fucking re – there's fucking – I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Fucking retards out there. <laughs> Big fucking retards. I know. But you know what I mean. Sorry, I don't want to get you all heated, but no, this is No, I'm not I look, I I, I I agree with you. I I do think it's dangerous. You can't and we've talked about it before, just our culture, I think the the, the way the news cycle goes so quickly and the way everything is about views and likes and shares and retweets. You there's no, there's no longer any room for kind of reasoned like yeah i'm a little of this and i'm a little of that that's yeah, gone yeah. it's yeah, all yeah. white or black you have to be fully and uh so i understand what you're saying like i don't hate a trump i don't hate i don't hate anyone who supports i mean i'm sure i hate some people but i don't hate anyone just because they support trump yeah i, I i'm open i have friends in my life probably i know uh, that 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 support trump but i also it's also something that I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not uh, judging you for that because if I had a friend, if like say Anthony was like a friend with, say he was buddies with like a scumbag like fucking coke dealer yeah, yeah. that 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 I knew was like a piece of, that had a underage girlfriend or some shit. Yeah. You're I, describing I would, a real guy in my life. <laughs> yep. I yeah. would, <laughs> I would judge <laughs> Anthony. You know what I mean, and it doesn't mean I wouldn't be friends with Anthony. So you're but just I'd judging like, Anthony. Hey, you got to be. Let's put this in reality. You got to be. You got to. <laughs> you got to stop being friends with scumbag Carl, man. Yeah. What are you doing? His name's not Carl, but he's a good guy, <laughs> Brendan. So he's a good guy. Four letters. Four letters. You're right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tattoo on his back. Pretty sure. If that's what. Well, let's about. not. Let's not. You know. Let's no, not throw his name out there too much. I didn't. Uh, but you know, he's got some problems. <laughs> Sweet guy, he, you know he's a sweet, sweet guy. guy. Sweet guy. He he's working with what he had to work oh, with. Is this yeah. really a real guy? Not anymore. <laughs> but at one point in his life, yes. And he's dead. Oh. No, he's not dead. But he might be dead. You know that I've given out his name. No, no. And that's the thing too is that I just that like I, I what I just you know to just put a little end cap on that is just that like I as a person who despises religion but loves all of his friends who are 99% religion, it's just to be like, how many things you just see with people that you get... I'm saying a judge, but it's like, I just understand that maybe there's people who think differently and don't see through the things you do. And it's like, you know, when it all comes down to it, we can't have a civil war. We can't be hating. We can't fighting each other. We need to just love our friends and, you know, and, yeah. and not fight each other, Yeah, you, you know, know physically. What? Yes. You know what I would like about the civil war, though? Yes. Tell I me. love those tents. I love hanging out in those tents, and you got like a table oh, no, and a candle and all the stuff like. I love whatever that scene is. I love. <laughs> can you? Can I? You know what I mean? Can yeah, I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, is your understanding of if we have a civil war right now <laughs> well, that the, the technology will immediately go back to the time of the actual civil war? <laughs> I hope it where does. We'll all just be examining maps by candlelight. Yes. I hope it does, because that seems like so much fun. You walk into a buddy's tent, and then they are, there's always another person there that they tell to get out. Yeah. You know? First of all, I'm going to blow your mind right yeah. now. I'm going to blow your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe for your birthday, make a little bit of money. Yeah. They got this thing going on. You got to check it out. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of this, Brendan? Uh, camping? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I... All right. I Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. I, I see what you did there. Great swerve. Uh, what I mean is, um, I, the, like the big tents yeah. where it seats like a bunch of people. You want a stand yeah. up tent. I want you a stand, stand up, up tent. I want a great wooden table. Sure. I want a couple nice maps, some candles. Mm -hmm. There's usually a woman in the room. No, well, usually a woman. There's usually a woman, maybe two. You're yeah. a general. And then another general comes in and he goes, We need to talk or something. Yeah, yeah. And you go, uh, Give us the room. <laughs> And then you have to leave. Yeah. And then you're in the room with the general and you're talking about strategy stuff. Yeah. I love that. And yeah. the camaraderie, you're going from tent to tent, people are eating beans. Yeah. All that. It's yeah. great. This is, None of that's going to happen if we have another I don't war. like the war part, but I like the theater of war before this war. This is the this is the first uh point of the general's uh strategy meeting. Uh now this is uh, very important. <laughs> We've got to talk about this. Who carried this table? <laughs> it's yeah. very heavy. Yeah. yeah, we just marched twelve hundred miles. How did That's this good point. table get That's here? That's a good point. I mean, you could hold the map. <laughs> yeah. It's not that big a we deal. We could have put this on the floor. 
Two guys are dead from carrying like, this table. Usually they have like wooden, like it's like wrists kind of. Yeah. Where they have little things that Highly represent. Highly detailed. Yes. Pictures of boats. It is true. Yeah. yeah. That I'm like, who cre- who crafted Ooh. that? Yeah. <laughs> Who's carrying that we shit? We got to get yeah. the strategy going. Well, you're going to have to wait because I'm painting the boat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want this done right or do you want it done quickly? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. The, the scout goes to the other army yeah. and they're like, hey, what? I thought you guys were going to invade or you got to give us a couple more days. I'm going to yeah. blow your fucking I'm going to blow your mind again. Yeah. Yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was like 10 years old. I went to a Civil War reenactment right, yeah. with George, right? And they had the tents. I would love that. And they, ha- you can do it. They had the guy giving a speech. Then they I'd would go out it. and they would shoot these. No, no actual. I fight. don't want to do the other stuff. But I love the be- I love the speeches. I love getting everybody together. And everyone then the has next their own day- bean recipe. I'm not even kidding. Everyone has their own chili. Really? You're gonna love See, it. See, I love all that stuff. And then everyone just goes home. I'm sure yeah. if you go to a Civil War reenactment, I bet there's like, I bet there's always like. Uh, on the on the Confederacy side, there's always like one or two guys who ruin it for everyone else who are like get real too into it. Of We're course, like, we have got to keep these slaves and like, God damn it, Dude, Terry, you're right. historians. Yeah, it's yeah. a perfect forum for those <laughs> yeah. people to actually say those things <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in a comfortable environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like if you're really for slavery, yeah. you can get it done there, <laughs> and no one, everyone's like, ah, he like really researched the role. Yeah, yeah. we're like, no, he's a bigot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny to say that, but truthfully, there, I remember this specifically. Specifically, these Confederate guys, there were tons of people who were like, all right, in the three enactment, they're the Confederate guys, and they would never talk about slavery. They'd always just be like, they'd have these like real reasons behind why they had to right. justify being on the Confederate army. Right. And it was like, it's this whole list. You'd sit and you'd talk with these guys. you go, why are you doing this? And they knew their roles, and they would be like, right. well, all of this, blah, 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 and the North, and they, I don't remember any of them, <sighs> but it was like, Whoa, this is what it was really like. Because to sit back and go, everyone in the Confederate Army was probably pro slavery, might, I don't know, I'm not a historian, might be bullshit. No, it is bullshit. Yeah. Because here's the thing it, uh, it, it's total bullshit because um, the people fighting in the Confederate Army. Yeah. For the most part, did not own slaves. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah, yeah. Poor. they were poor. They Southern. didn't have fucking yeah. slaves. Yeah, like, it was. And now they knew. It, it was more about the North trying to dictate how the country was. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was more. But and you don't have the look, internet then, so you could say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> but look, they also knew about slavery, and we're kind of like, yeah, this is pretty good, you know. Probably <laughs> most of them, like, who knows? Yeah, well, some t- some of them, I would even venture, I guess, have ne- they didn't even see a black person; they just heard folklore about them. Well, some possible. of these southerners. So then you yeah, got another I mean, guy who's like, they're nine feet tall. They got fifty five fingers. They probably most. They're of them not like close. us. I don't know. Most of them probably saw a black. Like, but they, we. Bro. Prove it. Dog. I have to. I have to. <laughs> I'd love to disagree. <laughs> if you think about even Anthony, we're growing up at a time in the North End, there was like one black guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that's just in our town. Right. I'm sure there are towns that didn't have any Puerto Ricans or black people. Yeah, but also, you go think about Anthony. Lord. He definitely saw more than the one guy in the town. Like, on TV. There were a lot of slaves. I, like, I, I, I think it's probably rare. Maybe it's, most well, I went Southerners to, had seen black people. Ba- I, I went to basketball and good. baseball camp. What? I went to basketball and baseball yeah, camp. Yeah, these Southerners didn't go to baseball or basketball. They did. You're yeah. right. No, I'm just speaking mandatory. on my behalf, but you're it right. It was mandatory. They did. <laughs> oh, yeah. They did. Yeah, they yeah the Confederates, every... known basketball stars. Yeah, they had to break They had to break the war up God, uh... in June and July. They said, all right, well, it's recruiting season. Uh, time to get to uh, that uh, Patino's camp <laughs> up in Kentucky. Uh, it's going to look good this year. So maybe for my birthday next year we go to one of these Civil War reenactments. Yeah, that'd be fun. fun. It's not because these guys. I would have. I'd be like, look at this, fellas. We're all here. We're eating beans. Yeah, that guy's cold. got a table, and they yeah. would be furious at me. You know what I like to think about? This yeah. fun exercise. Yeah, like think about times in history and think yeah. about like, okay, how little <laughs> modern weaponry would I need? Would would one side need to just completely dominate? to decimate? Like yeah, in yeah, other yeah, words, yeah. like say yeah, I know what you mean. Say you go back to like medieval times, right? Could this whole you know the War of the Roses or like uh, the Norman Conquest of 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 ten sixty six or whatever? Could that whole thing have been won with one gun? Not one gun, like one machine gun. It might be armies weren't that big, and they'd be afraid of it. But you also I, don't need penicillin. 
If you got sick, you'd just die. True. Sure. But with the machine gun, going back to that, I think you're not only doing a lot of physical damage, yeah. obviously, but psychological damage. They don't damage. know what's happening. They don't know what's happening. They also, they're not, everyone believes in God. I don't yeah, think yeah. there are a ton, maybe, you know, some atheists or whatever, but the vast Certainly majority. to himself. If yes. He does. And if you don't, if you don't believe in God and you see that, you might. You, I, I think they're easier swayed. Sure. So they see that and they go, "That's a, that's a god." I, I don't know what that. That's crazy. I don't know who that is. That's a god. We yeah. can't fuck with the Ottomans right. or whatever. Right. They're the Ottomans. I remember them. Yeah, yeah. But if you got one machine gun, yeah. Two, I've thought about this. Uh-huh. When you think about it. You're going against another army of. They have arrows. One arrow. You're still dead. One has to just get through. You're still only one guy. No, no, against right. an no, army I mean, of people. Could, no, I'm not saying could you beat them, just you as a person. I'm saying just that gun for the army. So you die, someone else picks up the gun. Right. Picks up the and gun. Unlimited ammo. You might just one powerful, like a 50 cal. Yeah. You might be able because you could mow down a fucking. Those guys were just on horses with armor that bullets yeah, could yeah. go through. Like you could mow down everyone. I would say you've got a it's like a, a very good leading edge, but I wouldn't call it out. I wouldn't call them out. It's certainly an advantage. <laughs> yeah. Because all they got to do is throw a giant rock at you, and they bro- break the gun. What if they take it? That's a rough report. That's exactly. That can king. happen. Uh, they got the gun. Bad news. They got what the gun. Uh, you're not going to want to hear this. What? Did we Did we have a setback? Uh, they, t- they took the gun. <laughs> what happened? I, I just went to get a sandwich. Yeah, I went to get a sandwich. And the guy grabbed yeah. it. I came back. They got the gun. So things aren't looking good. Uh, that's going to do it. I would say. Oh, yeah, Greg's got a thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. It's okay. No, do it. I, uh, Let's say what you're going to say. Well, I was going to say, hey, man, one plug and one plug alone this week. This Friday. What times did this program come on? I don't know. You're probably up okay, in an hour. Great. I think great. it's Can't prime time. Eight thirty. Nope, that's not when it comes on. Come on, man. You know it comes on. You know uh, the- what? Eleven thirty, maybe. Yeah, that so sounds pretty good. Anthony is on Stephen Colbert. That's a huge deal. Uh, tune in. You yeah. got to tune in to see Anthony on Stephen Colbert. We couldn't be prouder of him. He's my favorite comedian after Greg uh, and after uh, uh, what's his name? That's Ch- Scott Fitzgerald. No, that guy, Chicken. Chicken leg. Chicken. Yeah, you remember chicken? Chicken leg. Chicken, no. He's dead now, but chicken was something else. Uh, so chicken, it goes chicken, Greg, Anthony. I'll take it. Uh, yeah. No, Greg, chicken, Anthony. Still uh, take it. Uh, <coughs> but that's it, man. And you got anything you need? March to 22nd, headlining levity. Yes. Still want people to come out. Please come out to that. Yeah. Yeah, come I would out. love to have you guys come out because I'm, I'm going to just go do a crazy man show. It's Levity Live in West Nyack, New York. You got to get on their website. I believe it's levitylive.com. Get your tickets. Greg's fantastic. Yeah. If you never seen him live, so that's uh the t- March 22nd. March 22nd in West Nyack, New York. So if you're anywhere in the tri-state area, drive down for that. Yeah. If you're farther, drive for that. The guy puts on a fucking killer show. Come out. And they got great be, food. It's a great club. They got great that food. That is a great club. It's a, make a fucking day of it. It's in this mall, right? It's the biggest mall I've ever seen. They say the Mall of America is the biggest mall. I find that hard to believe. Well, I haven't measured. Well, uh, Palisades, I don't know um, mall standings these days, but years ago, it was the second. Really? Yeah. When? Years, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah, that's pretty right. What, uh, what's the biggest mall now? The mall of-